Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 7 of The Bad Batch. Uh, last week we saw Rafa and Trace again um, and they had a contact and they showed the, like literally the side of the contact's body. So I assume that means that we might see the contact this episode or in a couple of episodes time, I'm not sure. But I'm excited to see who it is, so let's get straight into it. I don't think Ruby likes this very much. You name that thing? What is it? What's with these guys? Well, we did steal from them. Technically, the rogue. Did they steal a loaf cut? We are merely intercepting it. They don't see it that way. Did I miss an episode? <laughs> That's not a loaf cut. Never mind. That was a lot to take in in the first couple of seconds. It's a tradition. It makes the kid happy. Uh -huh. Oh, the kid. kid. Yeah, the kid. <laughs> don't they both? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I can already tell he's the one that wants to do it. I can't see. My screen's too dark. Part of the mission. Oh. Mm -hmm. 14 credits for the Mantel mix. Oh, yeah. Uh, put it on six tab. Of course, that's where the money's going. Oh, he's ignoring me. Are you hearing me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, said move it. I need to turn my screen brightness up because I cannot see anything. Thank I don't know if I meant to. But I'm not running a charity here. But the hood kind of makes me feel Jedi ish. To be square. Before you see my ugly side. That's not her ugly side. <laughs> hey, oh, it's it's Rex. I I saw the the nose and the 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 armor. Oh, Rex! Oh, great! This ain't a clone clubhouse, you know. I mean. Unbelievable. Might as well be. Why not? That's a long story. Yeah, where have you been? We'd like to know these details. Do you share? And when the war ended, who is she? Omega. She's a clone. Like us. Well, look who it is. <laughs> Come here, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't like who it is. This one we like. Everybody likes Rex. Omega. But You're a generation one. Now, how'd you know that? Damn. From the lines in your face. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yeah, I guess I've been around. Interesting. You got that right. Uh, uh, I need one of those med patches. You used the last he knows, he knows. Wrong. Nothing. Yeah, it's just a headache. Which yep. is coming more frequently. He knows. So. I, I don't like this plan. We agreed to meet Rex on Braca. That's what. Hey. On Braca. Not mine. I don't have an inhibitor. I know that I planet. Not, that's not fair. His brain scans. Dude, if we see a, like a a, a young Calcastus. He means it's almost finished. I can't see. I can't imagine we'll have Calcastus. I feel like I would have been spoiled by that. Someone would have spoiled me on that already, I feel. Because people have been trying to DM me, being like, Oh my god, did you see last week's episode? And I'm like, shh. What is this place? Oh my god, oh my god. I'm like really excited that we're on Braca. Cause like we haven't seen this in Clone Wars, right? Like we we only saw this in Fallen Order, didn't we? Oh, this is from the trailer. Oh. Exactly what we need. I, Fives tried to warn me about you, Jim. Fives. But I didn't understand at the time. My best it's boy. Hard to believe now. How did you boys find out about them? <sighs> Omega. Dude, Fives and Omega would have been the best duo. Like, I know that her and Wrecker are great together, but like, I would like her and Fives. They're just so pure and wholesome. I just love to see them. Just like you know, besties. I just realized that Rex never told Echo what happened to Fives. 
I feel like that's something that should have been discussed before him just randomly out, out in the open just saying, oh yeah, Fives tried to warn me, but you know, it was too late. But Wrecker, Wrecker doesn't like heights. Can he, is Wrecker gonna catch a break? Like, can we just give the man a break, please? He can't catch a break. Something's not right. We need to speed this up. Yeah, you need to get his chip out before you do anything else. Wrecker. <laughs> guys. Oh, <gasps> guys. You're in direct violation of order 66. Wrecker is not the person you want to go against. Of course, it had to be the strongest of all of them that had to turn. Oh, Omega, 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 oh no. I mean, does she count as being a violation, considering she was never... Given... Was she meant for Order 66? Is that a thing? Although, she probably is reported as missing, so maybe that... But, like, she's not in violation of being a traitor towards Order 66, right? Surely not. You know what? As much as I, you know, obviously don't want to see him going against them, I'm kind of here for evil Wrecker. Is he a bad bitch? Conspiring with traitors makes you guilty of treason. Oh, okay, because she's conspiring with them. I see. Makes sense. Is your blaster set to stun? Nice. Uh, as, as long as nobody tells him he went to hurt Omega, because he will not be able to handle that. Why is this making me teary-eyed? Just him looking at his helmet. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh god. He's awake. Oh, you made it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome back. Nice. I'm so glad they're getting them removed. Oh, look at this nice little side shiv. Omega. Oh, About what happened. I oh, I tried to control it. I tried as hard as I could. I just couldn't make it stop. I'm oh, okay. it's okay. But still, I I'm sorry. Ah, uh. the mission's over. <laughs> we can't break tradition. <laughs> Thanks, kid. It's so sweet. Ah. Uh. When you sort things out, let me know where you land. Tell the boys I'll see them around. At least they yeah, still at least they still have a friend right. they know they can contact. I was gonna say the same to you. Captain. That's a nice shot. Never to bother. You know how to reach us. Yeah, see friends they can contact. That's such a nice shot of him going into the fog. Oh Who dis? Oh, just a random worker. <sighs> his 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 Oh god, his um his poncho looked like Cal's poncho. Oh okay, I'm recovering. Okay, so we're still on bracket. So there's there's still a possibility for a young Cal Kestis. I don't know what age Cal Kestis was on bracket from. Um but you know, hopefully it'd be kinda cool. Um But we got to see Rex and he we love Rex. We stand Rex. He is an absolute. We we love him. He's a king. He is our king. Um, and honestly, seeing Wrecker being evil was 
on one end, it was really cool because he'd be a really cool bad guy. Uh, but also it was really sad. Um, when he came back, obviously, you know, I, I, I cried once again, as always. Star Wars will always make me cry. Um, but it was nice to see that they actually finally got their chips removed and that they will have no issues, hopefully. Um, now we just need to get uh, Crosshair back and get his chip removed and everyone will be a happy family again. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what happens uh, in the next episode. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace.